What's up, Golf Cart World? So, we're going to start a new project here. What we have is a 1988 club car. Um, it's obviously a 6 volt, 6, six volt batteries go in here. Um, it's an old school resistor cart. Uh, we're going to be removing all this, and that's going to be including down to your throttle box. You have a little, I think it's five micro switches in here that controls your speed. We're going to be doing away with this and putting in a new setup. Um, we're going to be putting a new controller right here in place of all this slow resistor crap. And then we're going to be putting a new motor in. And uh, we're going to call this one Sleeper. Wanted to bring you an update on our, our uh, resistor cart we changed into solid state. Uh, we got it all mounted up and everything. And right here is your controller. It's pretty simple. You got this plate you can use to mount it to. We, here's here's how we mounted the controller. We uh we had this plate that the coil sit on the resistor coil. So when you swap it over swap it over to solid state, you can use this plate here and uh, mount your controller here. Wire it up. It's really easy to get all your big gauge wires to where they need to go. They're short. It's it's a really great setup. And I'm not sure if you can see the motor back there, but we got a big haul killing high RPM motor there. Um, Got a good little harness set up and uh, got your solenoid mounted on the side there with your tow run switch. Old style pot box that had the micro switches in it and we decided we was gonna try to go a new route with the um, a new potentiometer from specifically for this setup. Uh, seem to work out really really great. You do have to do a little fabrication making a few brackets and stuff, but uh, Also switching this golf cart from 36 volts to 48 volts as well um, This cart was really slow top speed is about 12 mile an hour and uh, After today, we're gonna find out how fast we really can go All right golf car world We uh, I'll give you a final update here on our 1988 club car that we changed from a resistor cart to a solid state which entails us putting the uh, a controller a solenoid and a motor and we changed it over from 36 volts to 48 so start off kind of easy This is what was in it before. And when you fed your 36 volts to it, each solenoid would click as, as the further you pushed down the pedal, which made the cart go faster. And then once it got down here to the end, that's as fast as it would go. And it was only about, like I said, 14, 15 miles an hour. Um, here's your throttle box. And uh, you know, once you pushed on the pedal, it clicked all these little switches in here and, and activated each individual one of these the further your pedal went down change any golf cart from a resistor to solid state um, it's just taking you know the time to do it wiring it up which most companies now most people have made a wiring harness that you can just lay in there and zip tie up or put it in any how you want plug it all in bolt up the motor put your your uh, wires on the motor get your battery pack situated and uh, pretty much be ready to take off so I hope you guys enjoyed this uh